He's also a classical pianist. I once asked him, and I just said to him, what do you intend to do with that skill that God has given you? His answer was, great enough, but I said, so I want to be the greatest pianist in the world I have ever known. I have no problem with that answer. That's right. Okay? Because what he said to me is that he wants to exist at his highest design potential. That even though he has set the bar at the highest, the process to get there has been his voice. Life is quite often like that. We are designed to operate at our highest design potential. But for most of us as Christians, we keep flying underneath that. Now, you know, we have uh, begun to make some adjustment. Have him here with us. We get somebody rehearses every single day. It's his goal is to become the most excellent dancer that this generation has ever seen. Now again, he's part of a heritage. Previous to him, the persons like Chopin, Liszt, Mendelssohn, Mozart, Bach, Beethoven, who had that design. Give from God. A preacher came down and said, John chapter 3, verse 16. What happened? It said a whole host of angels caught a ready few and called the Lord of God in the highest. I mean, can you imagine how we're going to only hear that song right now? Little heartbeat, one drum thing that says, Glory to God. It says, Every single person. On earth, everything under the sea and above the sea had to bow down before the throne of God and sing the word. Lesson and I, come on, understand the importance of why you are here today. This is not a little joke session to try and make the praise and worship song get up to you. This is about your life. If you are not that serious about it, then I would suggest you just excuse yourself right now. And you don't want to lie outside of the home. Because this is for serious people only. Oh, people you understand that you have been designed to exist at your highest percent potential as a Levite in God's kingdom. This place right here given. This is where you are to talk to you to find out who is maximum. Where it tells us to be the one part of it. Amelia.
find the word of God that he intended that we worship him. We're going to find that he intended that we come to understand and know his glory. What's that all about? When you lift your hand and say glory to God, what does that mean? Come on, somebody lift your hand like this and say glory to God. Glory to God. Oh, somebody lift your voice and say to God be the glory. We think it's something mystical. What is it? Then we're going to look at the ideal of worship. What did God want? What's His idea, not ours? And we're going to find out from looking at Hebrew, Greek languages, and looking at, of course, the historical and contextual usage. So, look at your neighbor right now. Come on, hold somebody's hand. Buy your hand right now. Say let's worship. Come on. Say it up. Let's worship. Let's worship. Say it again. Let's worship. Let's worship. Somebody shout it out. Let's worship. Let's worship. Come on now. Do we know what it means to worship? And take that mic down just a little bit for me. Do we know what it means to worship? Listen carefully. Somebody bow your head right now and do that symbolically. Let's worship. Oh, tell him that he's all that we need. Thank you. 